Liverpool Sparky Peter Liverpool in the National Electrical Information Centre which doubles as my mum's garage and I'm going to take you through um, ring continuity fault finding. The ring final circuit in question is those four sockets there. Don't forget that grey box, that's uh, a magic box of tricks for putting faults on. And so it's those four sockets there and it's that socket up there which is a spare. So we've come to verify the ring and at step one we've got uh, results for the line and the neutral as expected, we've got a value. But when we came to um, do end to end on the CPC we've got open circuit. Okay, so for this bit, I'm just going to demonstrate to you that I have got a, a break in the in the CPC. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep numbers out of it. I've just got it the the meter, multifunction meter. I've just got it set on the beep test, and as you can see, I think it can be varied that, but it's set to beep at anything less than ten ohms at the moment. So if I put that on the line, I get the beep. If I put it on the neutral. I get the beep. If I put it on the CPC, nothing. So that's our problem, a break in the CPC. So let's set about finding the problem. Because the line and the neutral are continuous, we can use either one of them to help us to identify the fault. You can see what I've done there. From one leg, I've connected the line and the CPC together. And then what I can do is I can follow that leg through the uh, the ring circuit and see where we've got the break in one direction. So here we go. First socket. I'm getting my beep. Now you see I can connect it between line and CPC. I'm getting a beep. Second socket. So it's all continuous so far. Third socket. I'm getting a beep. And then the last socket on the ring nothing. Now you can see what I've done is I've connected the line and the CPC from the other leg of the ring together and um, I can go the other way now. I mean it's probably a good idea to just keep it simple like this and do it one at a time because these things always happen in the worst of situations don't they when your head's a bit frazzled you know so the simpler we can make it the better. So let's go to this first socket. Am I getting a beep? So going around the ring the, from the other end, first socket, we've got a cable going there. Let's go to the second socket. Second socket going backwards, if you like. Nothing. And if we did the remaining sockets again, we get nothing. Nothing. And nothing. Because obviously we've got that leg of the ring, the line of the CPC, we've got that disconnected from one another. So what we can say then is, the culprit looks like it's that socket, doesn't it? Oh look, there's our problem. Can you see that? The CPC has come out or was never in in the first place. Now, uh, we've got three sets of cables in there because obviously one of those goes up to the, the spur. But the spur, is, uh, the CPC is still connected, but it's that one that goes um, back to the board, isn't it? That is, uh, has come out or wasn't, wasn't connected in the first place. Is the CPC connected back in? Now, we knew that had to be an, an accessory, didn't we? Because what are the chances of us putting an accessory on and failing to connect together all of those three sets of conductors? Minimal, you know. So we knew that one had to be an accessory and we found it. But what if we've got open circuit on all three, line neutral and CPC? Now, what does that suggest to you? Here's your opportunity to shout at, the, uh, shout at your mobile phone screen or the TV screen or your monitor screen or whatever it is open circuit on all three what's that going to be well it's going to be a a, a missed out socket isn't it um you might uh, have completed the first fix come back weeks later to do your second fix and simply forgotten that there's a, a, a socket that you haven't put on and that could be obscured or plastered over or the other the other thing that could be is simply a cable that's being cut through Unlikely to be you, uh, but when you, let's blame other trades, when you're working with other trades, I mean, it's possible, isn't it, that one? So a cable cut through or a socket just completely missed off. So again, how do we, how do we identify that? So we're going to leave numbers out of it again, uh, keep it simple. Um, I saw somebody in one of the forums talking about find, a fault finder like this with million per meter values and I thought, good luck with that one. Anyway, so leads together, we get a beef. 
but because of we missed the socket out or the cable's been cut when we go end to end we're getting nothing i mean if you think about it if a cable's being cut it's going to cut all three what are the chances of just uh, just the neutral or just the line being cut on their own minimal isn't it you know uh just the earth on its own no that, that's not going to happen is it you know not with a twin and earth cable like that other, other kinds of cable it might be relevant similar setup again uh, i could have picked any of the three to, to connect together but i've connected the the line and the neutral just for to be to be different and in my uh, socket adapter i'm in line and neutral i've got the first socket beep second socket Third socket. I'm trying to avoid showing you the faults. And the last socket. Nothing. So we've got a break between that last socket, well, the fourth socket if you discount the spare, and this last socket. There's a break there, isn't there, somewhere? Let's connect together the other end of the ring, the same line and neutral, and do the same again going the other way. Well, the other leg connected up line to neutral. Let's go to this, to the last socket, isn't it? Yep. Um, if you go back, I'm trying not to show you the issue straight away. Nothing, but we expect that, don't we? Because that's the other leg. We can go around them. But anyway, so we've identified uh, a break between the last socket and the next to last socket. And there it is there. That's um, normally what sits on there is a little accessory I can put uh, faults on, IR faults and uh, open circuits on, but that's the break. I mean, in reality, Missed out socket uh, or a cut cable uh, will give you an issue like that. So there we are. Not something to be experiencing all the time, that one, I would think. Twice myself in a 40-year a, a career, one of which I've told you about. But anyway, um, you know how to do it now if you didn't before. Or if you did before, then you've got a bit more food for thought. So there we are. Sparky Pete signing off. Um, as always, constructive criticism. Much appreciated. Because nobody knows everything, and there's always more to say.